hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is sophia i'm sure you guys know my name already okay just as the title have stated let's get right into this video okay guys <music> Okay guys so this particular video is for um those of us who have special need children or if you are caring i won't say only people that have special need children if you are someone that's a carer okay you are caring for a loved one or a friend or if you know family member loved one okay so this is particularly um hard not to bond out as a carer okay this is just my own tip i'm sharing in this video hopefully the video is not too long okay guys so i just thought that i would just share what i do because i know a lot of people doesn't know that i have special need children but i do okay and how i stay focused still do my youtube channel still do more meetings still do everything without getting worn out without getting burned out without getting frustrated okay i feel everybody is different when it comes to things like this okay some people have special needs child just one child and they cannot handle it me i have more than one that has special need okay and they, a lot of people always ask me not on youtube off youtube how do i even do it they are all, always amazed how i stay positive i stay okay without getting worn out without getting burnt out okay so i'm not really going to be sharing a lot of tips it's just maybe one or two or three tips okay guys so first of all what i do is that although they have grown now but when they were much younger what i mainly used to do was just to i have a routine okay so i have a routine and the routine they are used to the routine although it took a little while for them to get used to the routine okay so normally i just forget i just don't forget i just focus i meant to say i just focus on my routine and try not to get out of the routine which now that they've grown we are still doing that routine we are still stick to the routine because once you are stick to the routine okay they get very used to it and it doesn't get they don't get confused even if you move house or you move from one flat or a home you move your home or from one city to the other because remember children with special needs sometimes when you move an apartment or a home to a different place the routine can shift the routine can change as well and then it can make them it can destabilize them somehow but once you want to move you be telling them on time okay and then so that because you keep telling them repeatedly repeatedly when the day come or when it's getting closer to the day you keep telling them still that will help them to know that okay there's a big change that is coming okay and once that change comes it's not going to be like a big shock to them okay so i normally follow my routine i focus on the routine that have been set for me right from when they were more smaller they are grown now they are not babies anymore they are grown okay so follow the routine once you follow the routine to the core they are used to it of course as they grow the routine changes a little bit you know little you just change with more things added to it so that's what i do i follow the routine and they also follow it as I say in the beginning, it takes a while, but once it gets used to the routine, everything becomes easy. Okay, so number two is once you've done with them, you know, like their food, showering, everything, now it's time for you to go and also take care of your own self. Okay, don't feel like you always have to be with them every time. When I mean be with them, I mean play with them, teach them things. Or you know you know what i mean some parents sometimes i feel to me that they are um i want the word to use i don't want to use the word like overdoing it i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that's the right word to do to, to use but i feel some parents are a little bit overdoing it by like every every one one hour every two two hours they want the child to be learning something <sighs> remember that children children with special needs most of the time they don't want to even sit some of them cannot even sit still but when they do sit with you for like 30 minutes just use that 30 minutes to teach them one or little things and then maybe you take a break but if you are always like you always want to be teaching them every time you are going to get worn out so you're going to get tired sometimes you just have to leave them to be just let them be free 
let them be playing with water let them be playing with whatever the sand whatever they want to play with okay just leave them to be for a while it's not every day or it's not every time that you must it will, we must study something we must learn something i'm just sharing my own tip please guys i'm not a medical professional or whatever i'm sharing what has worked for me right from when they were small right from when they were three years old till now they are as i said they are adult already were well, not proper proper adult but one of them is already an adult okay so sometimes you just have to let them be let them play let them do what they want to do let them be free for a while then of course when the time to study something at home comes you know then you let them know they already know the routine remember sometimes because most of the time there's cards that you use to communicate the ones that can't communicate very well you use cards to communicate with them we have a board you stick it on the board so they know play time they know time that we okay we're going to learn how to be how to fold our clothes this time of the day so they follow pictures okay yeah so but sometimes i remove it when they're much now they are grown i don't need to use those cards and pictures that much anymore i don't really use it as such anymore but when they are much younger that's what we used to to do now you just tell them verbally and they know okay and also as i say sometimes let them be just let them be free because as i say they can't sit still most of the time when they are much younger they cannot always sit still let them just run free let them just do what they want to do for a while you know don't get um anxious how will i say don't get angry because they don't really understand why you are angry because they are running water yes they are wasting the water but they feel okay like that you just have to keep an eye on them and when they run water for like three, five minutes you just let them know it's finished water over no more water you, talk, and you have to be firm that's one thing I, I also learned to do you have to be firm if you are not firm the child will not really understand you properly okay so my last tip is take care of yourself okay if somebody offer to give you a help accept it with your entire being <laughs> accept the help with your entire being and also work together with the school the school my children go to the school is extremely very helpful you know so work together with the school the school always ask if you need help do you need this do you need that grab all the help don't be like oh i'm a super parent i'm a super parent i can do everything no i didn't do everything myself i got help from the school okay yeah and also of course my husband helped me as well so don't be i'm um, super no anybody even if it's a friend i want to help you to say oh i can come and stay with your kids for a few hour one hour two take it <laughs> take that one or two hours and go out and go and enjoy yourself go and do your shopping you understand go and do your shopping and come back you understand what i mean by the time you get back to your house at least your friend can stay a little bit and then go you understand you also make your children to interact with someone else who doesn't live in the same house with them okay guys i just i don't know why i just thought of sharing this um <laughs> this topic I, just, I don't know i feel maybe somebody needs it i don't know i really don't even know why i'm making this video <laughs> to be quite honest but anyhow i don't know i just thought i would just share it as i say a lot of people ask me certain questions off camera not even on my youtube um channel at all because i don't talk so much about my uh, special need children on youtube okay i know a lot of people don't know about it so much but anyhow i just thought i would share this maybe somebody is looking for it somewhere i don't know but anyway stay positive always yeah guys and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys